Hey, this is Arjen from Simple Sex, and in today's webinar, we're going to show you how to set up memberships on your Simple Tech site. So, we have a brand new Simple Tech site here. Um, we're going to create a membership level, and then we're going to create an event with a reoccurring pattern. And then I'm going to show you how you can apply membership discounts where members can get free or reduced price tickets. All right, so let's dive in. All right, so let's start off by creating our first membership level. So um, I'm gonna click memberships here on the top of my site um, the, of the manager panel. And we're gonna create a membership right now. I'll click here to add it. And I will give it a simple name like, um, like yoga club. And the price will be um, $25 and I'll click save. Awesome, so now it's created. Now that was kind of simple. To go to more advanced um, you know, parts of the membership, you'll go over to the edit area right here. And then over here, you can give it some more details. And this actually builds out a page where you actually can sell this membership on your website. So let's go in here. Um, I'll put in some details about this membership level. So we'll first put in our teaser and um, I'll just put in um, like join our um, club for weekly uh, yoga in the park. Awesome. And then over here in the benefit details, we'll put in like more details all about the um, what this membership is. And lastly, we'll put in our event image right now. So I will just um, drag and drop that in just like this. And as always, we have a built-in cropper tool so you can crop it um, to, to have the best fit. Perfect, so that's good. I'll click done. And um, we always recommend having like a welcome email. So after people buy the membership, they'll get one email that talks about like, hey, you know, um, what, what in particular do you get? You know, for example, you could talk about like, hey, these are the classes that'll get this discount and you get maybe a free ticket for this one. So you kind of put all that in the welcome email. And if you want to put that together, you could just click here and you can fill that out. But I'm gonna turn that off for now just to keep our demo short and simple. And um, this will be an annual membership. So it's good for 365 days. After that, it's expired. People have to buy a new, new membership. Um, we don't have the ability for auto renewal yet. That's something we're going to be working on um, this spring. All right, so that's good for now. Um, I will click on the Save button here. So what I just showed you was when you create it, it's just like you know the name and the price. That's kind of it. And then you go to the Edit option option here, where you can flesh out some more details. Um, so let me show you what the um, membership page looks like if somebody wants to buy it. So if you click this link right here, and this is the page right here that talks about the membership, and people can buy the membership right here and check out. There you go. So people can buy the membership right there and check out. Um, so now let's go ahead and do the fun part. Now let's create an event and create a reoccurring pattern and then apply that discount so members of this um, club get like 50% oh, um, off or free tickets or something like that. So let me show you what that would look like. So I will go over to events right now and I'll create a very first event. So I will click create event right here and I'll call it Sundays um, yoga in the park. And now I'll give it an event category, and this will be outdoors. Now for the venue name, this would be like the park or the yoga center that it's at. So I'll just call it um, like main garden. And I'll just pick some random address. Um, perfect. So now I'll put in an overview about our yoga class. So um, I'll paste in some sample text in right here. And now I will put in the event image lastly here. And just like before, I can resize it. Perfect, I'll click done and I'll click next. All right, here's the interesting part. We're gonna create the reoccurring pattern right now. So I said it's every Sunday. So I will click the option to create um, multiple dates and times. And I'm gonna say it occurs weekly. And that gives me the ability to select a certain date in the calendar. Now, let's say you're you know three days of the week, you could choose them just like that. But for now, let's go with just Sundays. And let's say it begins this week. So I will click um, this particular Sunday and I'm gonna say, let's just create it for the next um, couple weeks. So I will choose it up until um, mid-March 
and go there. And that will set the time. So it only ha let's say it happens um, twice on Sunday mornings. You have two different sessions. So let's choose 7 a.m. right now. And let's say it's one hour long. So I'll choose over here 8 a.m. And now we'll create our next session. Now we want a 30 minute gap between the sessions to allow time for people to leave essentially and arrive. So I'll choose over here 8.30 and this will be 9.30 over here. Now if I wanted to create more sessions, I could totally do that, but we're gonna go with two for now. And that looks good. So now I will click um, the button down here to choose next. We're not doing reserve seating. People just buy a ticket and they kind of show up. There is an issue right now with simple text. You only can do up to three months at a time. So it looks like I went over it. So let me choose um, to go into February instead. All right, now I'll click next. Perfect. So we just created our event. We created our times. Now we're going to set our price levels like yoga pass here. And let's say the heart, the health department is going to allow up to 30 people at a time. So I will choose um, to put 30 here. But more importantly, I can set it at the time level here. And you're probably wondering, well, why is it in two different places? Well, it's in two different places where, let me show you an example. So let's say you want to have like a yoga pass um, for, for students that's at a discounted rate, right? So you don't want to set the capacity here because it doesn't matter. You really want to respect the overall times capacity. So this one right here is the most important one. So we'll leave it blank over here. And we'll say the yoga pass is, you know, $20 for the yoga pass. And if you're a student, it's only $10. And we're also going to limit it to um, one person can only buy um, up to two tickets at a time. We want to prevent large groups. So I'll go to settings here and I'll say a maximum of two tickets per order for that one and a maximum of two tickets per order for this one too. Um, totally optional. You don't have to do this. And FYI, by default, you're passing over your credit card processing fees and your simple tax fees over to your buyer. If you want to absorb them, basically not charge them any fee at all, there's an option to do that, but we'll turn that, we won't go that route. Now for students, we want to mention that you must have an active student ID. So I'll mention that over here. Must have a um, valid uh, student ID. Perfect. And um, we're good to go. So I'll click done. So just to recap, we created our event, we created our event times, we created our price groups. Now at this point, I would connect it with Square, or Stripe, or PayPal, but we'll go ahead and skip that for now. I'll close this. And um, here's our event page. Let's take a look at it. So here's the event page that we just created. Um, and I can click buy tickets. And I can see here the calendar. And if I go up until December, you can, you can kind of see all the different Sundays that are selected. And if you're multiple days a week, they would obviously be selectable as well too. But I can choose any date in the future and I can see the two different sessions that we have. So for example, we have the 8.30 session. If I want to grab tickets for that one, I can totally do it. And I see the yoga pass and I also see the student pass as well too. And the student one mentions that they have to have a valid ID, which is great to have that there. So the next thing is let's kind of connect all the magic together where we have that membership that we just created. Well, let's go ahead and apply a discount that they would get. So what I'll do is I'll go to event times and I'll choose any event time essentially. I'll go with this one right here. And over here I can see the yoga pass. And for this um, membership, we're gonna give them um, like half price um, essentially. Um, so I can go here for membership discount and I can click add membership discount. And I will say that you get um, a discount off of some tickets and after that all other tickets are full price. So I'll click next and I'll say this yoga club will give you a, um, a $10 discount off of just one ticket. So if you buy two tickets, the second ticket is full price. I will click next. And this is where life gets a little bit easier. Um, even though we clicked one time and we clicked one price group, we now have the ability to apply this um, to all the future times. So basically we're going to choose um, right now to apply this um, discount for just this ticket type for all future times. And now I'll click finish. 
and it says we just created that discount for 28 sections and that's just because um, those are all of the individual times in those sections. All right, so I'll click the Save button here. Don't really need to click it, I'll just click it anyway. As I mentioned, people can buy the memberships. However, you can import them in via spreadsheet as well too, which is really handy. Um, so to do that, I'll go to View All Members. And if I wanted to add a membership to a user, um, I could just type in their information in here. Um, most people don't go that route. Um, customers of ours that are using this feature, usually they're importing them in via CSV or spreadsheet. And that's because they're exporting them out from like Blackbot Razor's Edge or some other CRM tool. They're, um, they're exporting them out, they're putting them into the column structure that we recommend, and then they're importing them in here. And then boom, all of their customers have memberships now. Um, so let's go that route as well too. Um, so the very first thing to do is download our sample spreadsheet. Now when you open up our spreadsheet, here I'm using OneDrive. Um, basically, I would recommend to click here and then double click here. That way you kind of open it up. And this is just a sample row that we threw in here for you. Um, but basically, you're going to want to take your data from your other system and put it into here somehow. Um, so right now, I'm just going to um, manually fill myself in here for a test. Um, so cancel. Okay, and that is good enough for now. And finally, what you're going to want to do is you're going to save it. Um, but you're going to make sure you save it as a CSV file and not an Excel file. And now we're going to upload that spreadsheet back into our system. So I'll just drag and drop it right here. And pretty much everyone that's on this list is part of the yoga club. Um, this is the email that they're going to get automatically. So I would kind of brush it up just saying um, your membership created um, at this, you know, put your organization name in like this. Um, yeah, and you're good to go. So another thing is after they, um, they click the verification link, um, when they create their account, we're going to put them somewhere. So it's great to choose a specific event that's in the future. So we'll go with Sunday's Yoga in the Park. Now, we only have one event, so they would get to it anyway. But if you had multiple events, um, it's, it's great to choose that option if you want your members to go to a certain event. All right, now I'll click Save. So that takes care of uploading it, creating all the members. So if you go over here and hit Refresh, within a matter of seconds, you'll see them here in the list. All right, so now let's test it out. Let's see um, how the membership you know, discount works. So what I'll do right now is I will go here to the page um, where I can buy tickets. I'll click Buy Tickets. And I'll choose any date in the future. And what I'll do right now is I'm gonna log in. So I will log in right now. So now logged in and now I see that discounted ticket. So I automatically got it for half price. Um, and I can also do a test right now. If I try to get two tickets, so if I grab two tickets, you'll see that one ticket is $10 and the other ticket is $30. That's why there's an order total over here of $30. So we preserve that. Um, let's also check out that email that you get after you do the upload. So here's what the email looks like that the person got just after they were imported in. So it says, welcome. Um, it mentions that the, the name of the membership that they got has the login page and has their username. It doesn't show the password. Um, so if I want to click on this right now, when I go here, it logs me in by default. So now if I click tickets, I can see that I'm logged in right away and I have my, my discount right away. So there's no extra steps. Well, hopefully you found this video helpful where we covered the memberships feature in SimpleTix. Um, we also showed you how to sell the memberships and also how to create an event with a reoccurring pattern and also apply the membership discount to that event. All right, well, thanks a lot. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. Bye now.